Today, I want to tell you about the implementation of DNSSEC in Uzbekistan. Don't use it. Uh, two years ago, we signed our zone with DNSSEC, and it took about one year to prepare all infrastructure and software for it. Uh, we arranged the signing our zone to the 25th anniversary of .uz, which is on April 29th. Uh, on this screen, you can see the final result of uh, our signing. The DS records are published in the, in the root zone. Uh, as you can see, we used the RSA SHA-256 algorithm with the length of 2048 bits. Uh, but surely, uh, only signing the TLD zone is not enough if you want to promote your technology to end users. Uh, you need to convince end users uh, that they need to sign their second level domains. Uh, here is our workflow of signing second level domains, which I think is quite similar to the workflow of other TLDs. Uh, end users sign their zones and send their DS records to domain reg registrar, and they publish these records and don't use it. And after our manual approval and technical checks, uh, the magic of chain of trust starts working. I think this scheme is quite usual for most of TLDs. Uh, to make things easier for our registrars and for end users, we decided to make a centralized system uh, called dnssec.uz. <clears throat> On this system, end users can find information about uh, DNSSEC technology and download uh, some tools. Uh, and each re registrar has a personal web account for publishing DS records. Uh, for those registrars who wish to automate the process, we also provided a convenient API to integrate these systems. Uh, saying about the technical details, uh, our backend of this system stores the DS records in database and then generates a text file with all approved DS records. And then this text file is merged with the main uh, TLD zone, which is located on the separate server and not available from internet. Uh, as I said, uh, we have some convenient tools for our end users. Uh, for example, we have, if you check our website, we have a special website widget with which is uh, HTML code with image which is which can be integrated to your website and which indicates if DNSSEC is available for your domain. Um, also users can use a browser extension for Google Chrome or, or for Firefox which checks the DNSSEC status for the visited domain name. Uh, and this extension works not only with uh, .uz domain, but for every domain visited. So you, if your domain is signed, you can see a green sign in your toolbar, toolbar of your browser. Uh, and accordingly, if DNSSEC is not available, you can see the gray sign with a red text, which is uh, opened when you click on the icon. Uh, as you can see, uh, this extension is published in the Chrome Web Store uh, and marked as a featured extension, which means that uh, this extension uh, meets all the best practices and standards of Chrome Web Store. Uh, if I don't mistake, there are only three, three uh, extensions in Chrome Web Store, and one, one of them is our extension. I'm sure that there are about 400 users now. This data is a little bit outdated. So next, uh, I think everyone knows about this open source tool, tool called DNS Wizard, Wizard DNS Viz. Uh, we also integrated this tool to our website so users and registrars can easily check 
uh, if they have any problems with DNSSEC on their domain name. I believe that many of you have used this tool uh, when checking the issues with DNSSEC. Uh, uh, the next step was not only to implement the DNSSEC and uh, give it to registrars. Uh, the next step was also uh, how to say to create tools uh, and promote technology to domain owners. So we had a lot of meetings with our registrars, uh, gave provided them them with documentation for integrating the, their system with our DNSSEC. Um, it took about one month to integrate with uh, registrars and start working on signing our domain names. Uh, then after launching, uh, there were a lot of mentions on social media. Here you can also see the tweet or how to say now it's called maybe X from Viktor Duhovny. Uh, he, we also released it, a uh, short social video on social networks, which talks about uh, DNSSEC and simple words. This video is also available on our dnssec.uz, on our homepage, and also on YouTube, which you can check if you are interested. So. So if saying about statistics, uh, this data a little bit outdated. So I'll, now we have about 122,000 domain names in .uz, 27 registrars, uh, and about 50 signed domain names, which is less than 0.01% uh, of all domain names. Uh, why the numbers are so small? Uh, I will tell about the uh, challenges. One of the challenges was uh, the availability of DNSSEC on local hosting providers. Our numbers say that the most of our domain names are hosted locally in Uzbekistan. And many of, of our hosting providers do not provide DNSSEC. Uh, and even if they can provide DNSSEC, and users are not informed, they are not aware, aware about how and why they need to use it. So our next uh, milestone is to work with our partners to increase the awareness, awareness about DNSSEC to our customers. Uh, saying about the hosting providers, one of the problem was that uh, Plesk panel uh, supports DNSSEC, but the extension of DNSSEC is payable, so not every provider can install it. And also old versions versions of Plesk do not support installing the extension. Uh, if saying about the cPanel, hosting management panel, uh, it seems that it requires switching to power DNS backend. Uh, one of our local hosting provider uses uh, the, the cPanel with bin, bind backend. So it took a lot of time for them to migrate from bind to our DNS. That was one of our biggest problem in increasing the number of signed domain names. Uh, I think there were a lot of uh, many other issues while migrating to power DNS, which also may be an interesting topic to discuss in future. So, is saying about the future plans of uh, .uz. Uh, our biggest milestone is the full coverage of DNSSEC in .uz, which is quite a big milestone and requires a lot of time and hard work with our partners. Uh, also, we need to promote this technology among uh, both commercial and public sectors uh, so they can understand the importance of the technology. Uh, and the last our milestone is to uh, automate this propagation using CDNSK records. Uh, and this topic is now ac actively researched by our team. So we hope maybe on the next 
events, we can share the results. So in conclusion, uh, what are the conclusions we make, made uh, during the process of implementing DNA in Uzbekistan? Uh, the first is uh, that you have to provide fully equipped box solution for end users and registrars. So they don't need to download extra tools and or search documentation on internet. So you need to provide all in one solution for your users. Uh, because uh, usually users read documentation only when everything is broken. So good documentation and tools are very important. Uh, also, the second one is uh, promotion. Uh, we found that it's hard to increase the number of signed bins without uh, huge promotion among uh, end users. Uh, and the last conclusion, which may be seem some a little bit controversial, is that DNSSEC should be paid payable for users. So, because uh, users only value when they pay money for technology. Um, and if we make it free, they will not be interested in implementing this. So this is my last slide. I can see that uh, there are code in Matamost. I see that Victor Duhovny says, uh, warn your hosting hosters using PowerDNS to don't bypass the PowerDNS API when DNSSEC is enabled. Yes, I think we should warn them about this because, uh, yes, this is important point. Uh, the first okay. question is from Stefan. It's, why did you choose RSA instead of newer algorithm? Uh, while implementing uh, the DNSSEC, we made some researches and found that the most uh, TLDs uh, use uh, this algorithm to sign their zone. So we decided that maybe this is uh, one of the most tested and uh, popular algorithm. We have plans maybe uh, switching to elliptic curves alg algorithm maybe in next uh, key rollover times while we make our next key rollover. Thank you. We're still uh, researching. Thank you. Uh, I think Stefan's next question you have already answered, uh, but the question is, do you plan to give incentives to increase DNSSEC usage? Uh, yeah, we have uh, plans. Uh, I think one of the plans is to working with our uh, hosting providers so they can uh, provide the DNSSEC for our customers because uh, the bottleneck is in our hosting providers now. Uh, so thank you, uh, Mr. Zizwe. Thank you for this opportunity. Goodbye.